to more of an extra under. That probably should be published tomorrow. Yes, I would. The, the actual motion that was changed right. and the decision. Yes. That has to be posted on our website. Correct. Just on the website? Yeah, just that item. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Agenda item number 17. Okay. Revised. Yes, Sean. Gary, would it clear up the minutes if 16 was was redone as the cul-de-sac was in the additional language Heather put into that? Well, I think of where it is. Maybe you want to amend your letter, your October 26th letter, because they're complying with your review requirements. Okay. I think I would just supplement that letter based upon the motion they made. Perfect. You're going to have a new set tomorrow, so. Yeah, and when you get that, you can just read. You can read. Yeah, because part of the October 26th letter would also now include the additional right. portion of water. Right. Oh, I got one question. On the road going up to the church. When is that going to get tore up? Like how long is it? I mean, are they? Are there, is there still going to be access to that church? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because okay. most most of what we need to do, we'll, we need to widen one side or the other. Okay. So the existing road that's there. That was also one of the reasons why we'd like to use the existing cross pipes for two reasons. Anytime you remove a cross pipe, put one in, Rick, you know that it takes them how long to settle all the way out. The cross pipes are settled, so that's why we just want to basically extend the catch basin. So the intent's not to really do any work. In the main road, and definitely we won't be doing any work on. Yeah, I'm not going to say definite, but most likely, you know, work on Sundays or or those days, or even during the week. Though there should always be at least one lane open um, if we're working on one side or the other. Just to reiterate what Dave was saying. Yes, there's, yeah, something we church, there's something at that church every day of the week, yeah. every evening. Of the week. Yeah, most, like I said, most of most of the work will be. We're going to widen it based upon really what size the easier easier way to go. If we're going to go into the hillside, or if we're going to go to the to the low side, but there should always be at least one way, enough for one way to travel. You okay with that again? And I would say obviously, if there's a big event or something going on, I'm sure our, our contractor would be willing to work with the work with the church to make sure that there's full access on that day. You'll be sorry. <laughs> yeah, most likely, the only day that you know, there will be any significant impact to it would be the day we call it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Or Easter. <laughs> Number 18. Approved and I, Dave Eskin, and Hal Briney to coordinate removal of the veterans' flags after November 11, 2021, and consider a donation for assistance in the veterans' banner. 